Hello everyone, in this video we will see a real life use case of ACL. This was a question asked on community and I thought of making a video on this using the best practices of ServiceNow and I think this is a very common use case and we should be understanding why we are implementing it and how we implement according to the best practices of ServiceNow. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Hardit Singh and if you are liking my content, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that like button so this is a use case which i have converted it into a jira story and the description for this story is as a service now admin i don't want to allow itil users to be able to delete cmdb records so that the data integrity is maintained out of the box service now allows itil users to delete the ci data or the cmdb data and the client wanted to stop this and not allow itil users to delete the data it is very common in many organizations which i have seen from my past experience that there are many itl users and it's very important to have some guardrails around that so that they are not able to delete important data so this becomes a very important use case and maybe you can suggest it in your client environment or in your own organization and it will be really beneficial for everyone and let's go to service now and i will show you by logging in as itl user how they are able to delete the data so i am in my service now instance and i will go to the cmdb table by typing cmdb underscore ci dot list and it will give me the list of all the ci's in the system and if i click on any of these ci's randomly and go into that record you would see there is a delete button here on the top right and here at the bottom left as well so itl users can directly go in and click on this delete button and delete the relationships as well as this ci record it's very easy for them and we have to guardrail this particular use case for that what we will do is i will log in as service now admin and it's important that i should also have the security admin role to edit any acl on service now you should have that security admin role i will click on all I will type ACL here and I will scroll down and under system security I will click on ACL or access control and I will type CMDB underscore CI which will give me the list of all the ACLs which are on this table. I will go and search for the ACL which has delete operation. So this is the one and if I click on show matching you would see this is the parent table cmdb ci and we would want to apply this to the parent table so that it automatically applies to all the child tables as well i will go in this cmdb ci acl which has the operation of delete and if you see here this says this is a high priority file type and if altered it might generate a skipped record during the next upgrade so this is a very important thing you don't want to create a skip during the upgrade or you would not want to miss any update during the upgrades because service now keeps upgrading every six months and there are a lot of lot of updates coming up so you don't want to miss them or mess with them right so what i will do instead of updating this we will create a copy of this acl so that the original record doesn't have any issues or doesn't have any impact and we create a copy of that and we make that copy as active and we can make as many changes as we want so first of all i will elevate my role i will click on elevate i will click on security admin and up update this now i will create a copy of this record for that i will just have to insert and stay so it will create another copy of this record i will click on continue and a new copy would have been created just to verify that i will type acl here and i will again go to the list of acls i will open it in a new tab and i will type cmdb underscore ci and i will filter it with delete operation and you would see there are not two records i will sort it with updated and you would see this is the one which was just created one minute ago and then we would be able to see the one here at the bottom this is the one which was out of the box i will go ahead and deactivate this and now we will go to the one which was just created and now we have to specify which particular roles should be able to delete this if i go back to the out of the box acl in here it was mentioned people with asset role and itl role should be able to delete the ci data however we would want to remove the itl role 
so for that in this new ACL I will go ahead and add only asset role and I will save this ACL record and now only people having the asset hoard would be able to delete the CI records one thing to notice here is admin overrides so this checkbox is checked so that means this ACL will be overridden by the admin so obviously admins would be able to delete the data as well as people with asset role so let's go ahead and quickly test it again with the same ITL user I will go ahead and impersonate again with the same user I will click on all and I will search for CMDB CI list and again I will select any random record and you would see now the delete button has been removed from the top right as well as from the bottom left so this is a really important use case for all the admins and the developers so that people with ITL users are not able to delete the data they just cannot go randomly and delete it only people with the asset role can delete that and we also stuck to the best practices of service now where we did not modify or update the existing ACL record instead we created a copy of that ACL record and then we modified that and deactivated the one which was out of the box I hope this video was helpful to you in understanding all these concepts let me know in comments if you have any questions or any feedback I would love to answer those and thanks for watching the video till the end